Fantastic, man. Great job. Can we Great talk job. about Jessica Simpson for a second? Oh, what a fucking pig she she turned out to be. Uh, what's she doing now? She's doing a show where she goes around the world and uh, looks for beauty and what people find beautiful around the world. And it seems like some political correct, like, bullshit show where they just show fat people and it's like, well, this is beautiful here. And this is fucking, you know, they, I think they actually had one of those fucking little... Uh, 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 South American hair-lipped kids, and it's like, well, you know, there's so many. Of well, them. beauty it's is beauty. All this in the yeah. shut up, show your fucking big tits. That's beauty. Well, Why do they have a chick like Jessica Simpson who's hot doing it? No, exactly. No, Get precious no, to do it. Nope. That's what I'm getting at right here, Jimmy. This bra, this Jessica Simpson made all her money being a hot piece of ass. This yes. is why this right. is important. Now she's let herself go. She got rid of her blonde hair. Now it's kind of a ratty, like, weird brown mm -hmm. color. And now she's admitting in interviews and stuff that she just loves to eat and it's fine. And all women Ooh, should boy. be fine with eating. And now she she's gave up. And now she's admitting she doesn't brush her teeth. So now, after she made all her money being the piece of ass that she was with the little fucking Daisy Duke shorts oh, and all that. Great video. Now she's willing to accept that uh, she could be fat and a slob and all that. And uh, she's going around the world, yeah, saying what's beautiful and what's... Uh, right. No, That's the go. point, Jimmy, is what I'm making. I'm, I'm saying, well, if you were always like this, so why don't you why don't you try to make it with your, your nonsense singing, which was horrible. <laughs> the only reason people listened to your crap was because you were a, a piece of ass. Yay! So be the fat, <laughs> slobby bitch and, and, and try to put music out there and see what happens to you. She has put on a little bit of a pudge. No, on, she on was that. on Letterman. She looked a little pudgy. I saw her on Letterman, a uh, DVR to Letterman appearance she had recently, and yeah. she's more than a little pudgy. I don't want to say, I don't want to say, you know, uh, I'm I'm looking and going like, oh, that's terrible or anything, but she got a little pudge, mm -hmm. a little pudge to it, a little, a little. She got a little she bun going. She was bangable though. Nah, nah, bangable. Uh, that's, that's bangable. Uh, yeah. oh, come nah, on, you come on, come on, stop. You wouldn't fuck her. You were talking about fucking. Who were you talking about fucking the other day? Precious. Precious. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> you fucking. Yeah, you'd have to do it just for the goof. Curse the alley. Yeah, curse the alley. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not saying that I would uh, hop on that fucking rhinoceros, uh, Jessica Simpson, but yeah, I guess I would. All sure. Right. But I mean. She's now letting herself go after she. You know, I, mean, I made my uh, own yeah, point. She's getting a little e rock thing going underneath the uh, chin. Wow. And look, and, look. And it's only going to get worse from here. Yeah, this is you know the this glory is only, years are over. This is only a year in of okay, letting herself okay. go. This, this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh okay. wait, wait, wait! What happened? That's an older one. That that was the mom jeans picture. That the. Uh, Horrid. That got everyone talking. Like, what's going on with Jessica Simpson? Bad ass. What's going Bad on ass. with Jessica Simpson? What about uh, the double picture right there? Which one? No, no, no. The other one uh, with the bikini. Sh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What is what is going on there? No, uh, a little before and after. A, I thought that was a before and after. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Look All at right. the arms. All right. <laughs> Look at the. Uh, We've got a belt pulled up to the bottom of her tits. That picture on the right is ridiculously Could be the hot. hottest picture I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and, and then and then she go, and now she's wearing mom jeans and having just fucking fat rolls pour out everywhere. Oh god. Oh well, you know they I all know. they all go on their merry way uh, out of out of showbiz. Well, love, I mean, love, love to eat. And and now that she's gaining weight. You know, she's got a show where, like you said, she goes around the world. But after oh. that show, what is she going to do with her her fatness? What is she going to do after that? Yeah, because she's not a she's not a a bright woman. No, she's, she's very um, dumb. She's kind of stupid. Look at the pictures, the before pictures of her, and then they're showing the after pictures. And now she she probably got so many fucking emails and twitters and letters and whatever the fuck else people are sending about what are you doing you're fat now you were so hot that she ha decided hey this would be a good show mm -hmm. where we go around the world and show people what it's like mm -hmm. to fucking you well, know be beautiful different. Uh, beauty's different all over the world yeah 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 you know she was explaining on letterman oh god help me out uh it might have been uganda in uganda the fatter you are, the more beautiful you are. Yeah, Somebody out there help me, because I, I didn't even realize we were going to talk about this. Uh, they put the women in a tent, and they have to drink milk for like a week, two weeks straight, a month, Is something. This before or after they spade shovel their clitoris out? <laughs> 
please. What you lactose Uganda. farts in that fucking tent? Oh, How God. horrible. But, but the, these, these animals, these men... They want their women fat. The women want to be fat, but they don't even give them good stuff to eat. I guess they just are are only allowed to drink milk or something, and they get, and they have to spend like a month in there, and they have to gain a certain amount of weight, or they have to stay like in the veal. tent. And yeah, Can you imagine? Yeah. Uh, let's say no, hi to Striker here. Striker. Good morning, boys. Hey. Hey. Uh, last night on Entertainment Tonight, I just happened to catch it passing. They had Christy Alley on, and. I mean, she is giant to begin with. She's showing this dress that is her inspiration to get back into, and this dress is less than half her current size. And then she's got this mannequin there, and she says, I used to be this big, and she's actually bigger than the mannequin. You know what? She's trying to make it look like she's actually smaller than, like, the mannequin. Uh, I'm just sitting there cracking up laughing, and my wife's like, you my wife just looked at me, and at first she did, she was started to tell me how wrong I was, and then I backed up the uh, the DVR and showed it to her. No, why? Started cracking up laughing too. No, why? It's 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 not wrong because they're parading their fatness in front of our faces. Kirstie Alley had yeah. a shot. She went on that dumb Jenny Craig, right? She lost all oh, the weight. Yeah. Didn't she go out on the Oprah and she had a little bathing suit on and yes. it was like, holy shit, she did it. And then she ballooned back up to a fat slob. Yep. And now we're going to, what, where you have to buy into that she's going to lose the weight again? Get out of here. Yeah, you had your times, chance. How many times are we going to watch that? Right. Like, there, oh, look, her. no way she'll get down to that side. Look, there she is. We got a picture uh, on Oprah. And she's in a in a bikini, and Oprah's looking very closely, if you know what I mean. Yeah, look at look at right in a box. <laughs> Oprah's she's like, like yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. looking at Jessica Simpson's juicy thighs in there. She has nice juicy legs. That's Kirsty Alley. Oh, yeah, Kirsty, her legs yeah. are juicy. Juicy. Fuck, look at those plump, juicy legs. Get the fuck out of here. Even when she lost all the weight, those are big fucking thighs. Those would wrap around you those like are... mothering legs and just milk <laughs> milk that nurturing seed out of you. <laughs> <laughs> they would milk your nurturing seed. Those are fullback legs. Those are fucking big, uh, meaty so... thighs. Give her a football, man. She's ready to run right up the middle with legs like that. She feels <laughs> so good to come inside of. You'd have to wrap your hands under and hold her ass cheeks and just fucking... Just oh, dump a, it up. Yeah, that's a good way, yeah. Really? Or a big Grab. fucking... That's if you can Grab get her out of the push. kitchen for an hour. <laughs> yeah. Constantly that's that's going to be Oof. your first battle, to get her out of the kitchen. Big nurturing legs. Milking that seed. Milk, <laughs> Milk that seed, mother. <laughs> Milking that seed. And even when she lost the weight, she was still a lot bigger than Oprah. And Oprah's no... Uh, Human? Well, Oprah. Oprah. <laughs> Oprah Wolf. Wolf. <laughs> Let's go to... And this is why we can't hang out with Elo anymore. Uh, so, yeah, of course. Thanks a lot, Elo. You couldn't figure out something that was a little closer to what we do? Yeah. So we could still work together? Opposite. Yeah, you had to go the spectrum. complete opposite, right? Alan, what's going on, buddy? Al. Hey, man. How's it going? <laughs> yes! I, I think uh, Jessica Simpson ended up being like, she's going to be the next Sally Struthers where you see her on commercial. Like, save the kids. If only I had eaten less, I'd have saved 50 kids. Yeah, kids, kids. You know what they? You, you know that? <laughs> you know there's. Watch it out, guys. Sorry, Chip, Chip, Alan Chipperson. That was terrible. You know, you know that intervention show, Aunt. They oh, should yeah. do a little intervention with this Jessica Simpson and and set her straight. Like, look, the only reason anyone knows you is because you're a hot piece of ass. What are you doing to yourself here? You don't have a br you don't have a brain in that head. No. You know, women that let themselves go, they get at least got their brain going. Right? She's a dunce. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, was that Kirstie Alley? Yeah, yeah that's Kirstie Alley. Look at that waddle under her neck. Looks like her and a frog went through fucking <laughs> bundle flies machine. <laughs> 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 what a fat neck. You could, uh, you could give a makeover to a pig, and the pig would look better than that Kirstie Alley in that uh, picture. She looks like she's starring in her new show. It's called Fat Neck McGillicuddy. <laughs> 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 Would you watch that show? Uh, it's all I'd watch. That'd be a great show to watch. Fat neck McGillicuddy. She works in a uh, deli. She was cutting her fingers. Uh, yeah. They well. got uh, they got they got a couple of new shows to, uh, coming out on the Learning Channel that are complete ripoffs of Intervention oh, and uh, Hoarders. I guess they saw those shows are doing pretty well, and uh, it's called Hoarding Hoarding Buried Alive. That's their Hoarders show. What do you mean, Bert? Oh, okay. Yeah, this show is called Hoarding, Buried Alive. Right. And then the other one is called Addicted. And the the like re previews I've seen for these shows, exactly like Intervention and uh, Hoarders. Hoarders. 
the same thing. Like they figured out, oh, we'll just we'll just do the same show, yeah. the same exact well, show. Those two shows are huge. I know. I love. Don't, I don't know why don't watching you stop the every time show is great. You stop every time when you know there's a hoarder show uh, on, yeah. or an intervention show on. Intervention, I don't stop every time. It's got to be good ones. I like when it's like uh, we're starting like heroin whores, things like that. I don't like watching the guys. Like, who gives a shit? Go fucking boot up, do whatever you want. When it, when it's like a heroin whore or a cokehead bitch or something, I'm I'm there. Where they're naked in their apartment, and the guys shove food in the front I door. Don't want to, yeah, because you just, I'm a good mother. I oh, yeah, the kids were taken away months ago. She doesn't even know. <laughs> Those shows are great. Yeah, I was watching Hoarders the other night, and I'm just screaming at the television. I scream at my television. Throw it out! Asshole, throw it out! I'm getting my anxiety level is at an eight. Um, I really can't. I have to go through this stuff. Could you get everyone out of the house and then the shrink? Okay, people, people, we really have to uh, respect uh, Jane's uh, space in this we? situation. So please, can we all step outside? I'll I'll have a moment with Jane inside the house. And, and then she's and this was my mother's before. I, all right. Throw it away. I would just start smashing shit right in and front of And the workers her. outside have got to be going, oh, another fucking nut job. Of course. It's all about them. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. yes. It's I, all I, I about thought of them. you the whole time I watched it. Cause oh. The one lady, it was uh, the mother was really fat and she was a terrible hoarder and her son hated her and her daughter was, you know, kind of crying with her and the father was disgusted. And the mother's big confession was that, like, when she was a kid, her father b burned all of her stuff. And that's what, yep. It's all right. Yeah, I can understand. We all had shit happen to us. But it was the way it was, like, mom's big moment. And she was like, and, and, um, and you could just see the son wanted to punch her in the fucking <laughs> face. <laughs> he should have. Uh, mm -hmm. All about her. Yeah. Her moment. I understand things happen and you need a little attention. I get that. But uh. when, when it lasts, like, 30 years, it's like, will you get the fuck over it, How please? How much attention do you need? Right. That was 30 years ago They he burned your shit. Guess what? Nothing has been burned since. Can you figure that out in your head? How much nurturing? Oh, uh, don't get me started. It was, it was so annoying. <laughs> don't get me she started. She needed nurturing. <laughs> she needed the whole family around her to nurture family. her. And reassure her. And, and, and the family is there. We've tried for so long to get her to clean up, but she just won't. And, she, and it, it is. It's all about her. You know Work has to stop because of her. Or, or she, you don't throw that away. You know what? I'll tell all the people out there that are dealing with this shit. You do something very simple. You ignore them. And guess what? They yeah. All of a sudden, it's really weird, but they start getting a lot better. Start throwing stuff away. They start getting a lot better because no one's there nurturing them and yeah. cuddling them and enabling them. They just need a loving hand on their shoulder. They just need to know they're loved. Uh, you ignore them, and wow, it, it's surprising how much better they get. It's really weird how that works. Ugh. Fucking uh, uh, pants and, and shirts and shit from 1970 with dead cat carcasses under it. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, that's great. That's right, stable. Right. Nice. <laughs> right. Great. Yeah, right. And you gotta talk to her gently about that? A nut. You fucking have dead cats in your house. They're fossilized. <laughs> right. No, no, you got to respect her space. No, no. Now we found... Even though there's um, no more space left, but you still got to respect it. Now, I understand. Why don't we Why don't we sit down now, Jane? Jane, sit down. Take some deep breaths. Tell me, where is your anxiety level now? Ugh. It's at a nine. Really? It's at a nine. Okay, okay. Now, it was at a ten before, so you're doing very good. And she's sucking up all this attention. What about... <laughs> What about the anxiety level of the family of the that family. had to deal with this? That had to deal with that fucking nut. It's all about them being <laughs> nurtured. <laughs> they need their nurturing. They have no one notices them. They're sick. Jimmy's doing this on purpose. Oh, I'm this starting sick. to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was so enraging. This Look what one I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling up the sleeves of the my sweater. The one fat lady. Like, her <laughs> whole family was miserable with her fucking possessions piling up. <sighs> It's all just crap. I would just throw stuff out. I would leave. If I, you have to leave sometimes. All right, go yeah. ahead, fatty. Stay in here with your stuff. Yeah. Well, you, they do. They do. And they, that's it. They fucking die in there. You know what the reality is, too, man? A loved one dies, and uh, the family goes in. Uh, I think E-Rock's dealing with this very thing down in Florida. So a loved one dies? He'll have a story to tell, but... 
your shit ends up in a dumpster. And, and the no. family takes a couple things that meant something to them, and everything else that you thought was was so important to you when you were living is now in a dumpster, like that about Schmidt scene. Oh, yeah. That's how it ends. And if you're a, a you, hoarder, forget it. Then it's gasoline on the house and a match. Right. Yeah. That's it. Why bother? Because, I mean, your family, they don't have room in their houses to take all your stuff, you know, with them after you pass. What yeah. did he whole save? life ends up in a dumpster. What did he save in about Schmidt that went up in the dumpster? Um, well, it was, it was like records or his, his all files. Of oh, it was his files that he thought the new guy could read and learn about what the job is about and get an educate. He's going to educate the, the young gentleman that's coming to replace him uh, with the years of experience he's had with those files. And he goes around the back, and the dumpster's full of the files. That's just an amazing Because the young guy doesn't give a flying fuck about him. It's all about the computer now, and no one yeah. needs him, right? No one needs him. No, what happened when he came in? It was really awkward when he sat down with the guy. It wasn't yeah, awkward. Oh, oh yeah, because the guy was just like, you know, he's trying to, you know, he's pro trying to bestow some wisdom. The years that he's been with this company upon this youngster who had his own uh, way of doing things and thought he would, you know, didn't need to hear from this guy. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right, you could go now. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I gotta. I really gotta get out of here. It's like yeah, we'll get together. All, and, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and there was all. Yeah, I. You know, I have a collection of files and stuff here. You might want to look into them. And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's looking and at the clock and looking at the were. office and out looking in the at dumpster. Schmitty there. Uh, Schmidt. Kevin from Connecticut has a great idea. Oh. They should have a hoarder show starring Arlie Ermy. Oh my God! Can you yeah, imagine some you get some kind of marine guy to do the hoarder show? Oh, uh, the woman would be crying, and then just, just let her cry. Yeah, as she watches her shit just being thrown into a flaming dumpster. Oh man, would that be a great show to watch? Uh, throw this out, fat one. buddy. Yeah, you don't need coupons. <laughs> he picks up everything like that donut. Yeah. What the hell is this? You're making such progress because they throw oh, out one thing yeah, that yeah. they never should have kept to begin with. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think about uh, these things? Yeah, you you want to throw this away? Well, this means a lot to me. And then they walk over to the dumpster and throw a fucking teacup in there, mm. uh, out of a, a place that's a disaster. Yeah. And they're like, "You do? Oh, that's progress. That's good. It's very good. You're really making headway." The rotting fucking roast beef in the fridge. It's a soup. The, the lady, the fat lady who needed the nurturing, had. <laughs> Two little uh, jars with numbers on them, and she had it because her friend gave her one like it, and it had soup in it, and she was going to make soup for her friend, and then they go to her daughter going, she's never made soup. No. <laughs> she's not going to make no. soup. <laughs> daughter just frustrated, right? Everybody it's knows the soup is a lie. It's just so annoying after a while, but I'm telling you. <laughs> You, you ignore them, and they really do get better. It's very strange how that works. Mm. She, but she just, you know what it was? She needed people around her just to surround her. We all her need people her. around just us. Just love, love, help. But the But the people around you thing has to be kind of equal in a family environment. Yeah. Because we all need people, and we all need a little nurturing from time to time. People of who course. need people are the luckiest people, people in the world. There's a lot of great uh, shows on. Do you watch um, Sober House? Sober House. The Dr. Drew, like it's the, uh, it's kind of like a spinoff from Celebrity Rehab. He gets them all good, right? Can't watch those shows, dude. He gets. Them, I need realism. He gets them all good. He gets them in a healthy place, and then he moves them into Sober House, where they now have to kind of live as sober people, and they're yeah. checking into Sober House. They just had the graduation from um, Celebrity Rehab. Yeah. Where they're all like, "Congratulations, you did it." He hands out the little dumb trinkets and stuff, yeah. and they make speeches like, "Well." I'm now well on my way, and I'm going to live a sober life. And then they move them into the sober house, and they have to all take drug tests before they go in. Half the people are failing the drug test. It's like, <laughs> way to go, Dr. Drew. <laughs> this is good advertising for your for your practice. I, I can't watch shows with gimmicks. I can't watch reality shows with gimmicks. Reality shows I can watch are the crime shows, Forensic Files, all those things. Mm. I love them. All, uh, but uh, anytime there's a gimmick where they got to put him in a house or they're running through these tests and doing the like uh, hoarders is great. It's just get in there, clean the shit out, and watch someone cry. Mm -hmm. um, intervention, same thing. You got somebody that's fucked up, drag their family in and tell them to knock it the fuck off or they're they're leaving. When when they're running through an obstacle course, or fucking standing on a giant scale, and and, and it's, <laughs> I, I, it's the gong show, dude. 
I I just happened to, and I, because we know we know uh, Dr. Ian Smith. I was watching Celebrity Fit Club last night, which is uh, a complete ripoff. Well, I guess they came first, but I mean, Biggest Loser on NBC is a yeah. real serious weight losing show. And then Celebrity Fit Club is just a complete joke. Half the people, they've been on the show for seven weeks. They've lost like three pounds. It's like nothing's getting <laughs> they don't done. don't take it seriously. No. And, uh, and last night, they had Harvey. He's like the Marine type. Harvey? Harvey. Yeah. Harvey, Harvey. He had an obstacle course set up, just like you said. That's why I'm bringing this up, where they had to run and grab as many, I don't know, all the yellow flags or something. I couldn't even follow the rules. I'm like, oh, whatever. Yeah. And, and they're running, trying to like grab all the flags, what this means to lose. Losing weight, I don't even know. There's nothing. And then Harvey has a big, huge fucking tennis ball gun and is just beating the shit out of him. Supposedly the tennis balls are flying at 70 miles an hour. What does that just have to do with losing <laughs> weight? Or do, it's just, it's a freak show. You get it, believe me, if I could sit there with a tennis ball gun and shoot a fat person that would around, rock. I would do it in a second. But as far as sitting there and watching it like it's an interesting show I want to watch, yeah. No! And Bobby Brown running up a hill, and you gotta like jump over uh, bales of hay. And with less than a minute, he, he could barely run anymore because he smokes. Oh. Sebastian Bach lost like one pound. And it's like, what is this show? Did Sebastian need to lose weight? Yeah, was yeah he, he's looking a little. Uh, yeah. Like his salt intake's a, a bit high. A high as I a told you they offered me that show. Uh, Jimmy, you know what? I'm didn't take Thank it. God you didn't oh, take this show. Thank God. That's good managers. Thank, Thank God. You didn't take the show. It'd be a great hit because I'm sure it does great numbers, but yeah. it's it's a joke. These It'd people are. They just degrade. You yeah. just point and laugh at them. It, they're ridiculous. It's like seventy grand. I mean, I'm sure they offer other people mo more money. But it's, it's a lot just of money to make fun of the people. And yeah. Nicole Eckert's like she gained three pounds this week. It's it's a weight. You're you're supposed to lose weight week. Uh, uh, you know from week Wait, to week. Nicole. Eckert? E Eckert or Eckert or however you... Eggert, the blonde from, from Baywatch, fucking... yeah. Are you kidding? She got fat? So, she's... I mean, not... She's... She's... Nicole Eggert. Yeah, she's... Uh, she's up there. Do the Celebrity Fit Club uh, link would probably... Because that's... Because she's on the show. Did they lose weight that way? I just wanted to lose she, weight. She gained three pounds, and like you're not taking this seriously. And she goes, "I am." And then, and then, they're, and then they're like, "Well, you're drinking wine. This is a weight losing show, and you're drinking I wine." Seen one fat picture of her yet? I've seen t amazing hotness. Yeah, no, that she's, they've shown. She's uh, not like a. She's not a slobby mess, but she's definitely you know gained a. A few since her, since her since uh, Charles in charge. <laughs> oh, was she on that too? Oh, she certainly was. Charles in charge. Is that when she was really young? Oh my God! I don't know how old she was, but she was very attractive. Was she the one that would hit Scott Bale with a strap on that show? Yeah, yeah. Charles Bend him wasn't? over the uh, couch. Yeah, <laughs> he wasn't in charge <laughs> at all. His face would be in Willie Ames's balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was, uh, so whatever, but this yeah. celebrity fit club, Kevin uh, Federline is part of it. That was the one, yeah. K Fed. K Fed, K -Fed is part, and Bobby. Is he fat? Yeah. Is he fat K Fed? Uh, I, I, he's losing weight on the there show. There are some I pictures guess. of K Fed, pretty fat. Look at the fucking Holy Nicole Egger shit. pictures. Oh my all right. god! Man. A show like, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, all right, there you go. yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> there you go. Holy She's, shit! She is way out of shape. <laughs> If you're known wow. as a Baywatch babe, you really got to keep wow. your body together. Oh, my God. Nice gut. God. No, not you. Damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking. No. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ah. Go, go to the side by side. Because there's one of her wearing almost the same red bikini. I don't like that hugging shit. Right there. You know, Steve hugs me. He rubs his beard yeah, on my head. I don't head. really like seeing that uh, oh day in God. and day out. I don't either. Look at that. Well, the comment makes me have my pants. <laughs> Wait, that's her Look on the left? Yes, dude. She looks like Pamela Anderson and Jessica Simpson, right? God. Looks like the girl on the right ate the girl on the left. <laughs> yeah, the girl on the right. That's, wow. wow. Oh, my That's some God. good times, huh? Oh, she looks like Richie Sambora. Good time. <laughs> in the fucking bikini. I, I love the. It just says fail. Yeah. <laughs> fail. The picture of fail. I love that. Should be. It should be. All right. Hey, um, and you were talking about that hoarders show. Have you heard about American Pickers? Oh yeah, yeah. These are guys that go oh, yeah. around uh, the country. Uh, 
pretty much garbage pickings. I was thinking that fine. too when uh, hoarding came up. But those guys, they're different than hoarders. I mean, because they do yeah. have a lot of stuff. These guys, those people that have like they just collect all of this junk that these guys go and pick through and then eventually sell. But those guys are willing to part with it yeah. for a price. A lot of these hoarders, they won't give up their stuff for anything. Well, one of the, one of the women in the hoarder show did that. She would go and pick stuff up out of garbage cans, but then just keep it. Like, if you're selling it, that's one thing. If that's a business for you, at least you're fucking converting it to money. She wasn't. She was just keeping it. Yeah, it's weird, because like, they're kind of like a rolling, uh, I guess like a flea market. Like, they go, and, they go to these people who have all this junk, and they go and try to pick out all the treasures that are there, and then they sell it. But the people that actually have the stuff, I mean, if they were true hoarders, they would not be selling it to these guys. They would just go, no, no, I can't get rid of that. I can't get rid of that. So I think there's a big difference between hoarders and people that just like to have a lot of junk. My girlfriend went to a, did a flea market recently and sold some of her shit because she said, junk and she said you can always tell who the hoarders are because they'll come over like they buy like the little knickknacks hoarders love small things Ugh. like miniatures like they love miniature oh, ketchups yeah, yeah. or uh, miniature figurines like just uh, drivel anything worse than a person that collects a lot of the same thing dolphins like i dolphins. hate uh, people also, who collect dolphins all of a sudden they like dolphins so now they have a, a thousand <laughs> Dolphins in their yeah, house. what the fuck is that? It's my not mother, cute. My mother was like that for a, a very long time. It was we all uh, know one. It was cows and like everything yeah. had to be cows. Everything yeah. had to have a cow. <laughs> and then it was. Then I, think, I think she graduated from cows to ducks. <laughs> and, and you gotta have like a duck salt and pepper shaker, <laughs> yeah, a, a duck tea kettle, duck tea kettle. Yeah, it's not just <laughs> toilet paper holders. <laughs> yeah, like everything, everything. just gets. Uh, it's everything. just obsessive. It's just their way of brand uh, getting and, attention and branding themselves on everything in the house yeah like ah, you know mother loves dolphins ah uh, boy we know what to get her let's get her something with a duck on it for christmas who, who uh likes dolphins in your life I, I honestly don't have anyone in particular i'm just we i've all heard know of at least one person that does is probably a few people that are fans sure. of the show are are are, are doing and this. they have all these fucking faggoty dolphins like who cares unicorns it takes copies of cove with ha ha written on it <laughs> <laughs> let's say hi to tom tom hey guys how's it going you're hey. out tom Hey, you guys bailed off of old Snatchmouth Simpson onto Hoarders, so I thought I'd bring up that American Pickers. You're right, it's definitely different than Hoarders, but it seems like they could easily dovetail the shows. After the Pickers come in and pick out the gems, they need to send in the shrink to get rid of the rest of that shit. Yeah. Hey, did I just see a headline that said, Precious says uh, beauty comes in all sizes? Precious? Only fat people say that. Exactly. I mean, only fat people. If you want to generalize beauty, that's that's not going to get you a lot of votes. Beauty comes in sizes zero to four. <laughs> uh, that's, that's rough to shove down our throats. That beauty comes in all sizes. I'm sorry. Gabory, Gabory. I'm sure I, can't, I still can't say a name. I'm sure there's probably probably five guys that would agree with that statement. They're. Uh, Gabory, Gabory, Precious, that's all she'll ever be known as. The Precious Brush. She might have a weight problem, but it doesn't mean she's unhealthy. This according to the National Association uh, to Advance Fat Acceptance. Ah! Yes, that's a real group. Uh, as we first reported, a weight loss company is reaching out to Oscar nominee or blah, 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 loser precious star in an effort to help her uh, lose weight and get healthy. But according to a spokeswoman for uh, NAAFA, being heavy doesn't always mean being unhealthy. Peggy Howell tells uh, yeah, TMZ. Doesn't she sound fat? Peggy Howell. <laughs> you oh, cannot Peggy tell. Howell stepped on my foot. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot tell by looking at a person if they are healthy. Fat does not equal disease, and thin does not equal healthy. Howell also said NAAFA uh, does not encourage people to get fat or stay fat and reminded us Achievements come in all sizes. Ew. Now, look. I mean, come on. Stephen if Hawking's you look at the the, um, the the rate of diabetes and uh, heart fat disease, people, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, like really just insane. You can't you can't be promoting that advancement of fat. That being that fat acceptance. is healthy. You can't promote that. That's not yeah. that's not smart. And she says, yeah, beauty comes in all sizes. Her heart's got to be exhausted by now. Oh, my God. It's fucking annoying. 
Is there, you want, I, don't, I don't mind fat people if they're all like on a, on a, on a fucking like an animal preserve living <laughs> behind a fence and not sitting next to me. I don't care. Will you go to that uh, preserve? It, 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 it's all I that do That would be the work. greatest attraction ever, just fat people and force them to be naked oh, just living in a pen. Around. Yeah, playing checkers, <laughs> just, doing fat people things. <laughs> right. You get to buy food and throw it at him. Right watch him eat it. It would be the greatest attraction ever. Yeah. yeah. You think there'd be a problem? Uh, yeah, there could be a problem. Yeah. I think some people might be outraged. If the guys down the hall could find it, uh, The Soup had a great clip on this Precious Broad on the red carpet. Oh, yeah? And I forgot who came along, but she goes, I tapped that. It was so fucking disgusting to watch. If they could find this tap clip. That. I tapped that. Oh, God. <laughs> Ooh, we got there. <laughs> what happened? Right here? What oh, happened? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, oh, for, 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 uh, now the other one in the middle of the page. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, I don't know if I want to click on that one. Who is that one? Uh, that uh, uh, that's, looks a little dangerous just, to that's, click. That's a fun little <laughs> It looks a little dangerous to click. Come on, click it, Danny. <laughs> no, that might be a what setup. That, <laughs> that might be you a mean, setup. You mean, you mean the, the, the picture that... That is hosted by nudist.666sexting.com. No, <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. No, I, that might be a little bit of a setup. <laughs> you're going to Patrice me and, uh, and start yelling at me for not, for not clicking it? Yo, Dan, why the fuck you want to click on the motherfucker? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? Thank you, Brian. I forgot about this story. This hit over the weekend. Go ahead, Brian. Throw Good this morning, one at everybody. Oh, yeah. I, uh, you guys have heard about the story about the lady in Oldbridge, New Jersey, who's like 600 fucking pounds, yep. and she's constantly eating fast food and all this other stuff so that she can be the largest woman in the world. Yeah, she wants to be the fattest woman in the world. Oh, good luck she to you. To a, Godspeed. Have fun. Be, she shouldn't be a thousand pounds by the time she's done. You know what? That goes back to Jimmy with that fucking... <laughs> I'm hurting. No, Jimmy. <laughs> she needs attention. The only way she could get it is by being fat. Yeah. And she wants to be the fattest. Could we get her on the phone? Oh, the oh, uh, the tap that guy. Thank you, Vince from Bayonne. Was uh, Gerard Butler, who was in the new movie with Jennifer Aniston, and he had to be polite on the red carpet, like, "Well, well, let's uh, go out then." <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's sitting there. I tap that. Oh God, <laughs> tap that. So she wants to be the fattest woman in the uh, in the world. Another attention. Seeking fucking nobody. I hope she misses it by eight pounds and drops dead the next day. Oh, falls down the Complete steps. Complete organ failure. Yeah, and she fucking puts a hole in the house like poltergeist. <laughs> just sucks her through another dimension. <laughs> big pig body. <laughs> no, nothing like having big aspirations. Uh huh. Big aspirations. It's kind of funny. <laughs> thank Fuckin you, sir. thank you, sir. Let's go to Rick in uh, Rhode Island. Rick. Hey, Rick. <laughs> I, uh, I watched uh, an episode of this Big Fat Loser uh, not too long ago. I don't normally watch it, but I just happened to catch one. They, they made these big fat slobs cross, cross these tiny little beams yeah. from island to island. And this one lady, she was so fucking scared. She went up on the beam. She, she, she decided not to do it. She stepped off. She fell and fucking cracked her face open on the fucking ground. She's bleeding all over yeah, the place. Yeah, she broke her nose. Biggest loser does what you're saying, and some of these fucking, uh, you know, like these like uh, events. And yeah. one of them was a tiny little beam, and they had to walk on it and not fall in the water. Oh, was that a gag? And they had to like, I don't know, they had to like transport balloons or balls or something. Ew. I don't know what the fuck it was. And this one woman, <laughs> that's great, is petrified of water. <laughs> Just petrified, so she starts screaming, and she had a panic attack, and she and she steps off the thing. I know the guy just told the whole story. It's helping, but, and then she falls down and fucking rips her face wide That's open. Fantastic, good. And then like she gets kicked off the show, and then they have to show her conquering her fear of water. That's oh. what it's all about, conquering fears, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't you love how they give a task to a fat person? It's the greatest. Carry those balloons or balls, <laughs> just like a fat. Like, it's like a circus yeah, trick. Yeah, yeah. Right. Here. Ellen Elephant. Yeah. Do this. <laughs> Carry these colorful objects, fatty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Bring these balloons over there to those people. They need them. <laughs> what a menial fat person task. <laughs> what a worthless gig that is. <laughs> no one needs balloons. That rules. Worthless for worthless people. Yeah. Oh, this is just wonderful. Illegal, I think. Illegal. What do you got, buddy? Yeah, going back to what that guy said about the woman in Oldbridge, she has a website apparently where you can pay to watch her eat and wash herself. Let's join. Good. 
That's good. I don't know what it is. I mean, look I at this it. slob. Look, I understand. You know, we all gain a few, and I'm not talking about that shit. I'm talking about the attention-seeking assholes out there. Exactly. So you get to you get to pay to watch her eat and try to get up to it. What? What does she have to get up to? A thousand pounds? A thousand. Yeah, I think so. And you watch her like scrub herself, and I never. I mean, I wouldn't pay for it, so I've never gone to it. Sounds but, great. Uh, that's what I hear. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Let's like get her on the phone and promote her website. Are we trying to? Nice Love woman. to talk to her. Huh? I would love to talk to her. Yeah, let's talk to her, actually. Let's give her some promotion today. You're right, Jimmy. Oh, let's yeah. Right let's try to understand what this is all about. I mean, why are you hurting so much? Yeah, why, let's try um, to understand this. Why isn't, get her on the she, phone? why isn't she being lambasted by uh, people in certain groups uh, that, that say that this is a horrible, horrible role model? When they show models and beautiful women and say, you know, this is terrible because women think that that's what their body has to look like and they can't achieve that and it's unhealthy and stuff. Why isn't this woman just being trashed for doing the same thing only backwards and very unattractively? Because, <laughs> you know, everyone wants to look at hotness. Well, mm -hmm. people have gone to yell at her, but uh, a, lot, a few of them haven't come back. When they crossed her event horizon. <laughs> event horizon. <laughs> hey, she has gravity. Hey, uh, they pulled the Jessica Simpson clip from David Letterman. Remember when we were talking about that thing? The thing. Where she's um, she uh, gained some weight and she's talking about her new show and she's uh, talking about the, that Uganda thing. So listen right. to this. Listen to this. What is the price of beauty? Bed? Tell me about. Um, we. Basically, two of my best friends and I went around the world Eating. and Her legs. <laughs> wanted to discover the cultures of different women mm -hmm. um, and where they live. And we found out so much stuff about the, just the heart and soul of a woman. It was really inspirational. And I, that was the way that I was going to talk about the weight gain, just the pressure that mm -hmm. the world puts on us to be thin. And, and which uh, a culture of... The world puts on us to be... But it, it, was, the great, world put but it was great a, yeah. business for you. But it sure exactly. made you a couple you're of fucking, fucking bucks, didn't you're it? You're in a fucking mansion somewhere because you, you kept yourself thin and you, looking like yeah. a piece of ash. What are you talking about? You worked that ass in that fucking music video with the little Daisy Dukes, didn't you? Sure you sure did. Didn't you? You played the part, didn't you? Yeah. And cashed that fine check yep. you got for yep. it. This wouldn't bother me if it was uh, the precious girl, because she's a fat girl. Right. right. That wouldn't make me angry. Right. But hearing oh, a hot chick God. who put on a few pounds, it's annoying. And now she's going to, like, uh, talk bad about being thin and trying yeah. to stay in shape and do the you right know, thing. You know, the world puts these pressures on us. All right, then give your money back that yeah. you made uh, being a, uh, a piece yeah. of ass. Yeah. Give it to some, some fat slob out there to, to take care of herself. And, and which uh, a culture of uh, women is um, uh, more unlike our culture? I would um, like to Most build a resort in Uganda because the fatter you are, the more beautiful. Really? Yes, yeah. they, um, their prized possession is a cow, so um, they want their women to look like cows. They told me that they have to be <laughs> in the fattening hut the people before they are consider laughing. proposing hut. to me mm -hmm. for, like, for five weeks, and you just basically drink gourds and gourds of milk. Wow, really? Yeah. And, and this is all. It's not like you get to eat a Big Mac or anything. Mm -hmm. Fattening tent in Uganda. That's good. That's good. You know what else they do there? They machete people into pieces when they think that uh, they uh, are different than them and don't like them. That's good. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, That's really. She's talking about. Uganda, like it's some civilized fucking nation. Right, exactly. They talk about some of these fucking African nations like, no, that's good. That's like, this is just a different culture. No, it is so primitive and savage. Why would you look at one part of it and go, yeah, great, they put a woman in a tent and fatten her up because the men like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the men also like digging their c girls' clits out, right. no pleasure, and they believe that fucking a virgin takes their AIDS away. Shut up! And how come she's not attacking it? Like they're basically making women unhealthy. They're fattening them up yeah. like animals. How come they're not? They're not. She's not attacking that. Like if, if women are being uh, suppressed or oppressed, she would complain about that. But because yeah. she's getting to be fat, they're okay to fatten their broads up. Oh, yeah, done. They're putting them in a fucking tent like animals. Yeah, yeah. Fatten you up. Yeah, that's and okay. People are laughing. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's okay. I, I'm sure a few of these women don't want to be big, fat cows, by the way. Yeah. They're, they're forced to do it because that's what their culture says. Because they fucking worship the cow. Right.
And yeah, they don't even do the is. right thing and give them a food they might enjoy. They have to no. suffer as they get fat. That's don't you smart. you learn how to fucking, you know, raise cow and cattle and uh, nice do it that way. Steak. Have a nice piece of meat there. You fucking don't oh. eat in excess. Oh, Precious didn't say tap that. She said I'd hit that. We got that clip, too. But <laughs> more of Jessica Simpson from David Letterman. This clip uh, ends with a lot. Well, she said I'd hit that. What was she pointing at? Jupiter? <laughs> 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 uh, this next clip I want to acknowledge ahead of time ends with a lot of Z's. Because oh, okay. no one wants to hear what she has to say about fucking beauty. Mm. In, in these uh, um, uh, exotic cultures, do you, do you find that the, the, uh, the, the status and the lot of women is Im improving uh, better than you had guessed or uh, uh, dire and disappointing? Oh, no, I, I think that it's improving. I, it's, it's different because we went to Paris and we sat down with an anorexic model um then we go to morocco and see the beauty behind the eyes and soul of a woman and that's a very like spiritual episode uh -huh. other than the fact that i had to eat some goat brains or sheep brains or something that was disgusting well, at least you got <laughs> yeah, some brains in that you. on a bun yeah um, so it's, is there a, a, a reason women always succumb to the pressures of culture uh, that's uh, uh, dominated and and the forces generated by males can I guess the answer to this? Yes, there is. Because they're dummies, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> when I watch this shit on TV, I, I would imagine Dave wants to just go oh. like, this is nonsense. But yeah. I, he's got to play the part, right? Of course. He has by to. males. I always thought males wanted something to grab onto. Well, Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Tits while we're... Fucking a vagina exactly. on a nice slender girl. Well, other girls' pussies when you fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Doze off, fucking porker. Holy shit. Have some Funyuns. <laughs> funyuns. <laughs> I hated Worse Funyuns. funyuns. Dip hate some funyuns, funyuns in Ranch. They are not fun. <laughs> While you're taking an Elvis shit, I'll go out and hit on a skinny girl. Uh, funyuns. <laughs> By the way, I hate Funyuns. They're horrible. They really <laughs> are, man. And uh, just to finish up our fat break, here's uh, the precious broad talking about, I don't know, whatever, on the red carpet. Have you ever met Gerard Butler? Uh, I bumped into him yesterday. I oh, feel like I stepped on his foot. Who's behind me? I feel like I stepped on his foot. I think, I I think, I think he would know. Yeah, she said that about Heather Mills, too. <laughs> I bumped into him yesterday like she bumped into Harry Chapin on the expressway. <laughs> 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 Come on! Yeah, you don't want to. What is she making? Bumped into and stepped on his foot. Jokes. You, you don't want to do that. Have you ever met Gerard Butler? Uh, I bumped into him yesterday. I feel like I stepped on his foot. Who's behind me? <laughs> I don't Again, know who's stealing our thunder. Jupiter. Here? Gerard Butler. <laughs> Her ass. Oh, he's kind of sexy. He is kind of sexy, right? Yeah, I hit that. Well, the problem with saying I'd hit that, the other person has to agree to the hitting. Has to want, yeah, to be involved in the hit. Right. Uh, no one wants to hit you. Well, your mama did. That was great. With everything in the back of the head. That was like Poachers a cartoon. Do. <laughs> Poachers. <laughs> one of those giant elephant guns. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Poachers. That's, yeah, well, yeah. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Of course is right. <laughs> a couple of ashtrays. <laughs> Oh, there. He's kind of sexy. He is kind of sexy, right? Yeah, I hit that. Hello, Gabby. Hello. Hello, Gabby. Nice to meet you. Nice one. Excuse me, what did you just say to me about Gerard? What? I kind of said I'd hit that. I, <laughs> I kind of said that. I'm not ashamed. I'd hit that. Sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm available. Would you hit it now? Uh, Stop. Oh. Yeah. Come on, Billy. Come on, Billy. So disappointing. Why can't a guy go, what the fuck are you thinking about? Not, no. You know no. who I bang in Hollywood? I, I wouldn't even... What happened? Yeah, Gerard oh. Butler's got to worry about fucking Precious. Want to <laughs> fucking hit, hit him? But why can't he be honest and go, get the go, fuck yeah, out Yeah, yeah. And he's like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. Looking, going, oh my God. <laughs> right. If you were the last fucking thing on the planet. <laughs> Maybe, maybe if I had a a crystal meth habit. Oh, Ryan Seacrest really knows how to get a moment going, doesn't he? He he's, certainly he, does. He got wow, a moment good. going, Jimmy. He is good. Mm -hmm. Oof. 